The second half of Masters of the Air has taken a unique approach from past Hanks and Spielberg war dramas, as it delves into life at a POW camp, but with this shift in narrative, the series has been able to tackle important moments from real history, including the famous story of Stalag Luft III's The Great Escape. Mentioned in Masters of the Air Episode 7, The Great Escape was exactly what it sounds, an impressive attempt to escape from the POW camp that ended up having generally negative effects on both the prisoners and the escapees. The Great Escape comes up in Masters of the Air Episode 7. Gale, Buck, Cleven, John, Bucky, Egan, and the other POWs from the 100th Bomb Group are making their own stand against Stalag Luft III by building a radio. After secretly collecting a number of materials, Buck is able to rig up a radio from which they can get updates about the war. However, this becomes problematic when they learn that POWs from the British side of the camp escaped via tunnels. Now, the German officers are going to be on even higher alert, putting everyone else at risk. How the prisoners escaped from Stalag Luft III explained. The Great Escape was a year-long project that was completed mostly by British soldiers being held at Stalag Luft III. The plan was conceived by Royal Air Force Squadron leader Roger Bushel. The basis of the Great Escape lay in tunnels. From March 1943 to March 1944, more than 600 prisoners of war worked together to secretly dig tunnels out of Stalag Luft III. Though the camp was specifically designed with sandy ground so that tunnels would be difficult to build, the men managed it. They ended up with three tunnels named Tom, Dick, and Harry. To be clear, the tunnels weren't rudimentary either. Each tunnel included an air pump, staging posts, and workshops wherein supplies could be kept. The tunnels began in small, hidden places within certain huts at Stalag Luft III. By building three tunnels, the hope was that even if the Germans found one of the tunnels, they would never suspect that another two were also being built. Ultimately, this idea worked out, as the tunnel called Tom was dynamited. Although their escape was originally intended for summer, a visit from the Gestapo to increase security measures pushed the Great Escape to March. On the day of the Great Escape, March 24, 1944, a number of Stalag Luft III's prisoners of war snuck through the tunnel called Harry. Because its entrance was frozen, their escape was delayed. Also, it turned out the tunnel's exit did not quite make it past the tree line, making it vulnerable to the nearby guard tower. Regardless, the men traveled through the tunnel and escaped in the early hours of the morning. Their operation was eventually shut down when an escapee was spotted via the guard tower and was forced to surrender. How many prisoners escaped from Stalag Luft III?